Hi everyone, Yvette Rose here from Metaphysical Anatomy. So today here we have a question about mononucleosis. So my friend has a son who has mononucleosis and it's not the kissing disease. Apparently this was, this was contracted at birth. He and my son have been together in preschool since they were two years old. The mono symptoms would then flare up and he would be sick for several days um, up to a week. And when the boys entered kindergarten, it was recommended by the after-school care provider that the boys should not be in the same class as they might be disruptive together. Um, so they remained close to kindergarten and started to drift apart in the first grade. And so apparently um, they were placed sa in the same class again in the fifth grade where they reunited and started to hang out again. And the, um, the mom of the boy with the mono said that he had gone several years without any symptoms, but they came back again in the fifth grade. Now, the timeline seems to match when your son is friends with my son, he experiences the symptoms. And when they're not friends, he does, he goes symptom free. Um, so what I'm hearing here is, firstly, the, the child with, with this, with the ailment was born, was, you know, set here to be born with that. So what I would be looking at is firstly, the mom, the mom of the son. You know, what was her emotional state like when she was pregnant with the child? Was she in a challenging relationship? Was she perhaps around people that did not respect her boundaries? Was she around people that made her feel intimidated or controlled or suppressed in some way or emotionally under attack? And because what this ultimately does is it creates a, a, a weakening a weakening in the energetic field in terms of boundaries. Now that can also translate into psychological boundaries at some point. So now what you're looking at is this kid was born with this with this condition, which could be classical trigger from the mom feeling that. And so which also could be, you know, maybe it's not even the mom, it could also be inherited from, from the dad or from you know someone else in the DNA lineage. But I feel more inclined to look at her pregnancy stages and what she was going through and feeling during that time. And I think what could be happening is that there's certain strong characteristics in, in your son maybe that could be triggering these weakened characteristics in the other child, then causing this ailment then to flare up as well. So maybe it could be that your son is just, he's a very confident person, he's a very outspoken person, and the other kid is maybe not, and causing him perhaps to feel intimidated, causing him perhaps, you know, unintendedly to feel attacked by, by the other, you know, by your son's personality. It's not necessarily that anything went wrong there, but it clearly there's a clash in terms of a misalignment regarding, you know, personality types. So one is perhaps the more dominant one, which could perhaps be your son, and the other one could be as a result of, you know, certain patterns that was inherited there and predispositions being activated at birth as well, or during birth or straight after birth. Um, that, that could be actually triggering this. So I would definitely be perhaps seeing what, what that, that could definitely, most definitely case, um, case be for you. So in short, I do hope that that helps. It was a really great question. Keep them flowing guys. It's really, I love it. And I love to help where I can. And until next time, be the light that you are. <laughs>